Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to our Distal. Documents indicate that the relations between Ethiopia and India have lasted for close to two millennia, and modern diplomatic relations between the two friendly nations were established in 1948 in the aftermath of the independence of India. Since then, the two countries have been enjoying cordial friendship over the years. And now where exactly is the bilateral ties between Ethiopia and India? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to interview Indian ambassador to Ethiopia, Anil Kumar Rai. Do stay with us. Well, Ambassador, thank you so much for making the time to talk to us on such important topic, which is the relationship between your lovely country and Ethiopia. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you very much. And I would like to convey my warm wishes to the viewers of this program and to the Ethiopian friends. How would you describe the relationship between Ethiopia and your country, India? And uh, are there new and emerging areas of cooperation between the two countries, Ambassador? Uh, so India and Ethiopia are uh, having very cordial relations. This is one of the oldest relationships yes. uh, in the mankind. And uh, the formal relationship was established in 1948. So since then, we are continuing very high level engagement and cooperation at multiple levels. Let me give you some glimpse of the depth of this relationship. Uh, you would uh, uh, recall that uh, when the BRICS event was taking place at uh, Johannesburg, yes. both the Prime Minister met there, and then the Ethiopian Prime Minister was one of the important invitees for the Voice of Global South, which was held uh, under India's presidency. Uh, when it comes to the relationship between both the countries and how they, how India supports Ethiopia, I would like to take you to uh, the year 2021, when Ethiopia was passing through certain difficulties. And um, these uh, uh, difficulties came out after the expulsion of uh, uh, UN staff members from uh, Tigray. So that triggered a situation where a UN Security Council was asked to examine a proposal on the humanitarian situation in Ethiopia. At that point of time, India was a member of UN Security Council. Mm -hmm. And we supported the Ethiopia's position on inclusive national dialogue. We, uh, uh, we encouraged the members of the Security Council to uh, deeply understand the situation and uh, not allow this to become a matter of the UN Security Council. Similarly, in uh, July 2021, the Great Renaissance Dam was again an issue which came to the Security Council. And uh, India was among the, uh, the first countries who encouraged the other member states to look it into a more comprehensive way and uh, agree to the 2015 Agreement on Declaration of Principles and the African Union process for resolving this issue rather than discussing it in the UN Security Council. Yes. And uh, both these uh, efforts of India beared fruit and we could manage to uh, uh, get past this uh, issue. Uh, India has been an important support for uh, Ethiopia uh, we have uh, voted in favor of Ethiopia to become the UN security member for the year 2017 and 18. Yes. And we were also among the few countries who supported Ethiopia's initiative and uh, at the uh, universal periodic review of the UN, UN Human Rights Council in 2019. Yes. We said that the efforts made by Ethiopia for providing political and social rights to its people is commendable, and its uh, effort in countering counterterrorism is also commendable. So these are some of the larger things which we have done, and uh, we will continue to do. And all these efforts has been widely acknowledged by the Ethiopian leadership. This uh, publication from 
this publication from the Ethiopian government has in detail explained and appreciated the assistance, the help, the timely help which India has provided to Ethiopia. That's uh, a great point, Ambassador. I know how your country, India, stood by Ethiopia in those trying and difficult times, especially when the issue was uh, taken to the UNSC, as you said. Ethiopians are very grateful for that. Thanks a lot, sir, for that idea. As you know, Ambassador, under the leadership of your Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, was just won his third term in one of the most democratic elections in India. Uh, your country said that it prioritizes its relationship with Africa in general and Ethiopia in particular. So tell me, Ambassador, how will your country, India, uh, advance its relationship with African countries in general and Ethiopia in particular? Thank you very much. And let me tell you that uh, Ethiopian Prime Minister was among the few leaders from Africa who conveyed his warm wishes on the uh, yes. successful elections and uh, appointment of uh, Honorable Prime Minister Modi uh, for the third time. Uh, so far as advancing the relationship with Ethiopia is concerned, it is a continuous process. And uh, the, uh, what I expect is that during third term, uh, we are expecting to hold the India-Africa Forum Summit and that summit would give a greater chance for us to having deeper engagement with the African countries. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to this, uh, our engagement with Ethiopia will continue and it will grow from strength to strength. Let me tell you that a generation of uh, Ethiopians have been taught by Indian teachers so education is a very important pillar of our cooperation. We, we want to extend this cooperation in other fields. Uh, based on our experience, whatsoever we have achieved, we are ready to share, may it be in the field of agriculture, may it be in the field of health and pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. infrastructure development, uh, electricity and transmission, so these are new areas which we see. Um, minerals and mining area um, uh, sector also has great potential for cooperation between both these countries. Mm. Uh, let me tell you that uh, um, Ethiopian leadership has been invited for major flagship events and conferences in India. The, uh, uh, in the near future, uh, we are going to host India-Africa Conclave, mm -hmm. where the business leaders from across the Africa will be participating. So we have invited a number of leaders from Ethiopia, and we hope that their participation will add a new dimension uh, in our cooperation. That's a great point. What are your overall views when it comes to the trade and investment landscape and environment that Ethiopia has? The world has always been very positive about Ethiopia. This is the country which has a huge population of 120 million, uh, a stable, peaceful country. Yes. It has diverse climatic regions. Uh, so uh, the potentials are immense. And uh, this country has seen double digit growth for over a decade. So this is a phenomenal achievement for Ethiopia. What I f understand is that presently Ethiopia is passing through certain difficulties which happens in the life of countries in the, and uh, I hope that Ethiopia will overcome these challenges soon. So based on the policies which are formulated by the government and the type of uh, uh, business environment which is created, will uh, pave the way for higher degree of engagement between the in business and the investments between both the countries. Uh, India is one of the largest investor, the second largest investor in, Eth in Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And mostly our investments are in the core sectors like iron and steel, pharmaceuticals, uh, plastics, cement, uh, textiles. So uh, these sectors have contributed immensely to, in, uh, to Ethiopia. 
So the performance of these industries, uh, if they are doing well, yeah. it means that the more and more Indian investments will be coming to uh, Ethiopia. Uh, but uh, through this program, I would like to also urge the Ethiopian authorities that if the investors comes to them with any issue, they should take it into consideration and try to resolve it. That will go a long way in creating a positive sentiment in favor of Ethiopia. As you know, Ambassador, under the leadership of your Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has just won his third term in one of the most democratic elections in India, uh, your country said that it prioritizes its relationship with Africa in general and Ethiopia in particular. So tell me, Ambassador, how will your country, India, uh, advance its relationship with African countries in general and Ethiopia in particular? In the uh, last 10 years, India have done uh, many advancements and uh, we have become the fifth largest economy. We are expecting to become the fourth largest economy very soon. So uh, in this journey, we have overcome many obstacles and we have done many innovations. Yes. So these are, uh, I mean, we are ready to share our experiences in the fields which are important for Ethiopia. And uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, if we can just glance through the requirements, I see climate resilient agriculture is one of the requirements for Ethiopia. A rapid uh, laying of infrastructure, mm. electricity transmission, because you are going to become a electricity surplus country very soon, uh, new and emerging technologies like IT, health and pharmaceutical sectors. So all these sectors, financial inclusion is one sector where we have done exceedingly well and we have provided banking services to each and every citizen. In addition to that, we have a very uh, advanced public, uh, uh, digital public infrastructure through which the, and digital identity to the citizens has been provided. So these are also the priority areas for Ethiopia. So uh, what we feel is, what I want to convey the message is that let Ethiopian decide their requirement and then we will be happy to examine it and tell that how our approach, our exper uh, experiments and experiences would be useful for Ethiopia. So these all sectors are open and uh, they are most welcome to reach out to us. We will try to help them to the extent possible. The AU included to G20 and I think this is a commendable uh, act. And I personally believe that lots of African countries are happy uh, when it comes to this. So how will your country uh, you know, capitalize on this uh, as part of the efforts of ramping up its presence on the continent of Africa in the midst of diverse competitions uh, coming from different sources and different angles, Ambassador. You have rightly mentioned that uh, under India's presidency, Africa Union became the member of G20. We, right from the very beginning, we believe that uh, why Africa is discussed in G20 without Africa's participation. Yes. So we made it a point that African Union should become a full member of G20. Lot of backdoor efforts were made and uh, we are very happy that the outcome was positive. The reason why India wanted African Union to be part of G20 is that it represents a grouping of 54 countries. Yes those countries which are developing and they have they uh, represent 20 percent of population so it was almost in our opinion uh, not right to keep the african union away from the fold of g20 now coming to how this african union can be fully integrated into the g20 process what i feel is that African Union should target to make Agenda 2063 aligned with the G20 targets. Mm -hmm. And the G20 should include the Agenda 2063 in its own framework. 
so that the issues like sustainable growth, employment, climate change, financial inclusion, poverty reduction, food security, infrastructure, these all aspects which are the immediate needs of the African countries are yes. become the part of the G20 agenda. And once this process becomes seamless, I think the, the synergy between G20 and the African continent will be far more uh, organic, smooth, and efficient. Thank you, Ambassador. Uh, maybe if you have any final message that you want to convey, the floor is yours. Uh, I want to thank my brothers and sisters from Ethiopia for having very positive impression about India. We are, like you, a developing country. So we are brothers in arms. And we see the challenges of Africa as our challenge. We consider the opportunities of Africa to be uh, explored and utilized for the benefit of the African people. Mm. So uh, we want to continue to have a very healthy, friendly relationship based on the principles of mutual respect for each other's priorities and their own uh, uh, systems. So with this, I would like to again thank you for hosting me for this event. Ambassador, thank you so much for giving us some of your precious time and your precious ideas. And I wish you success in your tenure here in Ethiopia. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. Well, the viewers, thank you as well for having been with us so far. And see you next time with another program. It's a bye-bye from me, Take care and stay safe.